I turn 50 years old this Valentine's Day, so let's celebrate by baking a chocolate cake. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where every week we get together in the kitchen and create healthy recipes. Today we're going to be making a Valentine's flourless chocolate cake. Let's begin in your double boiler or a glass bowl that fits securely over a pot that has one inch of boiling water on the bottom. We're going to add one cup of either bittersweet or semi-sweet stevia sweetened chocolate chips. I like to use the Lily's brand. Next, we're going to add one half of a cup of either grass-fed butter or coconut oil. Either one will work really great in this recipe. Heat until your chocolate and butter are melted, stirring frequently. Pour your melted chocolate into a mixing bowl and then to it we're going to add 3 quarter of a cup of Lakanto or your preferred low glycemic sweetener. So Lakanto is just a mixture of urethritol and monk fruit extract. 1 teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Last, one and a half teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon. This is just for a little bit of flavor. Something else that might be really good in here is a little bit of cayenne pepper if you like spicy. Mix together your ingredients. Then beat in one egg at a time. Last, add in one half of a cup of high quality cocoa powder and stir just until combined. You don't want to over mix. Pour your batter into an 8 inch parchment lined and greased cake pan. Bake in a 375 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes. There will be a crust that forms on the top, but the cake is not meant to rise. Remove from the oven and let cool in the pan before removing. Okay, we're ready to give this cake a taste. Just a little hint here, when you're trying to determine whether your cake is done, just take your finger and gently press on the middle and you should be able to tell. It might not seem like it's done when it really is. Also, make sure you cool it completely before trying to take it out of the pan. Um, you can stick it in the freezer for about an hour and that would speed things up. And so for toppings, you can get really creative. Use some fresh strawberries or raspberries. I took some hardened coconut cream and just whipped it up. That'll be delicious too maybe some sliced almonds, or even your favorite frosting would work. So let's give it a try. That is super rich and velvety and chocolatey and delicious. Everything you're looking for in a chocolate cake. I hope you give this one a try. Super delicious. Really easy too, just a few ingredients to whip together. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, make healthy choices this week and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.